What is going on everybody? So today, as you guys can see from the title of the video, is when the swap begins. As in, I'm gonna have separate parts of me doing the swap and everything for the B18C5. But as now, if you guys have been following me on Instagram, I posted that I picked up the motor and posted a photo of the motor if you guys aren't following me on Instagram. So Instagram will be getting all the main like updates if you guys wanna follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is the same as my YouTube channel. And today is the part one of the B18C5 swap for my car. And it's, today is gonna be the motor and what I got with it and what I need and all that stuff. But first off, let's start off with the motor. And now, it is a B18C5, but uh, my friend um, didn't sell it to me with a valve cover. So this is a valve cover from my friend AJ for, uh, I think this is off of B16, but same shit. So thank you very much AJ for this, for the last minute valve cover. I, I literally picked it up a day before picking up the actual whole motor. And it came actually with a lot of good stuff. And I will tell you guys the price later on in the video. But first off, thank you very much, Teddy John. Teddy John on Instagram, I'll link his uh, Instagram below so you guys follow his new build. Thank you, AJ, and thank you, Ronaldo. Teddy John is the one that owns this motor, or used to own the motor, and I wanna thank him because he gave me such a good deal, and the motor is such in a good, like, it's, in, it's like all the, all the seals and everything have been replaced and all that, so. Thank you very much for the deal, Teddy John. I will take care of this motor, and you know I will. And Ronaldo, thank you for driving me up north to pick up the motor and loading it up in your CRV and driving back with the CRV. And also, thank you, Ronaldo, for your transmission. I'll show you guys that in a bit. But B18C5. I don't know why it's red, but yep, it's a type USCM Type R motor, and. Let's see. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, it's pretty heavy, but it came with the K Tune. Uh, I think this is the power steering delete tensioner, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be selling this because I'm gonna retain power steering and AC, which I went to the junk the other day with Melvin, and this is for the this is off of B20, so the B20 power steering bracket, or no, this is the AC bracket. I mean, power uh, B20 AC bracket fits right here and then I can put my single cam uh, compressor on here and then for the power steering I need a GSR power steering brackets and then I need a, a power steering pump in order to use my single cam lines and not to change all that so I'm trying to get that right now but I got this from the junkyard recently and I need to get those brackets forgot about those or actually I couldn't find a GSR at the junkyard uh, I tear a manifold OEM I was like yeah and then he just has a um, plug for the breather box but he did give me the breather box right over here. But I think I'm gonna be running, I'm gonna be running a cash can setup. I'm gonna be using that breather box. And this is just the transmission. This is a B16 transmission with a Quaffy uh, LSD and Synchrotech carbon synchros in it. And the way you can know if it, if transmissions have LSD in it is if you can see right through it. All right, this. See, but you can see right through it. Normally on transmissions that don't have LSD, there's like a little shaft that blocks it. Of course the distributor. This is a B series T bracket, but I cannot use this. I mean, a GSR or LS whatever, but I need a SI T bracket, but I already ordered that from Honda this morning. Axles, half shaft, uh, starter, and I don't know what that bracket is, but I don't need that. And then if I'm correct, this is a hash port Shift link that he gave to me, but I'm not I'm not really sure. Uh, it has white bushings on. I think this is a hash part. This hash part uh, shift linkages are gold. So thank you, uh, Jonathan, for this also for hooking up, hooking it up. And then also has a sick ass dipstick from RFab, and it's just cool. So that's that's really sick about it. And then I'm gonna pop the head off for you guys so I can show you guys inside. And then, let me, oh, the Valkyrie just fell. You guys can see, it has a, what is it? I forgot the brand, but it has uh, valves and retainers. And then those are the Buddy Club cams. And these are the Toda cam gears that came with it. 
And then I also need to change this pulse right here with the B21 because this is a three pulse for the Integra. I need to get a B21 because this is two pulse so I can uh, work on my mounts. I think I might need to replace the oil pan gasket. It seems like it's leaking. But I mean, it's a common problem. And then I think the only thing that I found bad about the motor or that's leaking is the rear main seal. I uh, just got, I already picked up new ones. So I just need to replace it because it doesn't look like it's seated properly all the way. But this model only has like 1500 miles since, or 1500 since rebuilt. So that's whatever. The hose, uh, they just prevent coolant from coming out. So he kind of just looped it around. And I do need a fuel rail, but I'm gonna be ordering that soon. And injectors, he didn't have it because he had, I think RC 500 CC injectors. And I don't know what fuel rail, but I need to get that. I was planning on running stock G Star injectors with just an AM fuel rail. And then that's that, but motor's really, really clean. Head gasket's fine, not leaking or anything. I just, there's just a couple things that, you know, that I just replace. And then, transmission is just dirty as fuck. It still has all the dirt from when Ronaldo went off at the track at Auto Club Speedway or Streets of Willow. But the transmission itself is really good. I've driven his car with it. And this thing feels really nice, especially with the LSD. Yeah, but this is the B18C5. Sorry if I'm not like making or like making any sense or as in like I just got off work so I'm, I'm pretty tired but I just had to film this and show you guys because I do need to upload tonight and this video doesn't come out same day but yeah I'm really really happy and oh I also you know what first of all sorry valve cover put the valve cover back on real quick Ugh. The spark plugs. I'm really excited and hopefully you guys are really excited too. When I picked up the motor and brought it back home, well actually when we picked up the motor I wasn't really excited for some reason, I don't know why, but when I put it in my garage and looked at it next to my car I was just like, damn I can't believe I got a C5 and I pretty much almost am ready to go. I just need to go buy ECU, I need to get a clutch, I need to get a flywheel and I'll keep you guys updated on the build or the motor build. And then I'm trying to put the motor in within two weeks, two to three weeks. I'm trying to accumulate all the parts that I need for it and all that. But I did go to Honda this morning. Uh, valve cover gasket, spark plug tube seals, all, all Honda rear main seal. Gotta replace that. And then distribute the O-ring. And then I have to go back because I did order the T-bracket the B series C bracket for off the B16 for my um, my car. Um, I also ordered a timey belt cover because this has the lower timey belt cover, but it doesn't have upper and if I'm gonna be racing that I spin out the track or spin out on the dirt, I don't want rocks to of course fly in there and then fuck who knows what the fuck would happen. So I'm getting the timey belt cover. I mean it's nice to see cams, but I'll be tracking the car on the motor and I don't want nothing to happen to the motor. So. I'll be selling this if any of you guys want this. It should, I think this is a power steering uh, delete tensioner. Most likely it is, but it's K-Tune, so yeah. You guys, if any of you guys want this, just let me know. Just feel free to DM me on Instagram or send me Actually, no, DM me on Instagram. I respond to it better than uh, YouTube messages. And this extra bolts. Oh, and good thing is, oh yeah, on the motor, it does have ARP head studs and all that. And he gave me, let me guys see it. These are ARP flywheel studs. So that'll go, go good with my uh, lightweight, uh, with it, lightweight flywheel that I'm getting. B18C5, really fucking excited. And I did pick up a Ijen hoist for 130 bucks at Harbor Freight. It was on sale with the coupon. I just have to assemble it and dude, this shit is fucking heavy. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Oh yeah. I didn't get to show you guys. He gave me some headers these are four to one headers uh i think they're generic just random ebay ones but i might be selling these and getting some different ones so if you guys want this b series four to one headers um pretty good condition no dents or nothing just let me know for free let me know i will be buying some different ones so yeah hopefully you guys like this update video 
I will keep you guys updated more on the build and I, you guys do not know how excited I am and probably most of you guys are excited too. But I've been waiting for this moment. Finally got a motor, so yeah. I'm gonna just go up, take a shower, edit this video, post it. So like, comment, subscribe, dislike, up to you guys. And for all those that ask me if I'm gonna be borrowing the motor, I am not. So fuck it, I'd rather have fun, you know. Fuck California. But yeah, peace out.